Hey golfers, and welcome back to another episode of the Second Swing Thoughts podcast. And um, it's a great one because we have Mr. Kevin Kraft with us today. He is back here in Minnesota, flew in last night from, well, from Baltimore, but from out east. And yeah. uh, so today we have a few things to cover. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago we were down at the PGA show, which was a lot of fun. If you haven't yet checked it out, we've got a vlog up on the YouTube channel kind of covering our demo day experience. Um, but Kevin, how are things for you? Uh, ramping up for the 2024 season now. Not bad. Not bad. Got yeah. A couple rounds of golf in early this year now. So it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's starting to feel more like golf. Right. And actually, oddly enough, here in Minnesota, I've played a couple of rounds of golf. So but yeah, unbelievable getting off the plane, getting in an Uber, even though it was, you know, 11 o'clock at night yeah. and, and coming over and being like, there is no snow. Well, and it, and it also wasn't like uncomfortably brutally cold either it uh takes me back to the first trip you made oh, here for content God. the very that was, was that was the very end of 2022 yes the, yeah yes and yeah 30 below when it, I, it, with the wind chills yeah. when i got off the plane <laughs> and then you know super cell storm thing yeah, you, coming it, you in almost had troubles getting out of here like you i was like i think here. i was on one of the last planes like, to, it, to actually was, get out i'd have been stuck here for another three days and or it was so. like right before the holiday where you yeah. may have like had oh, yeah. to spend, you know, Christmas at yeah. year. Oh gosh. Yeah. yeah. Um, been a re an unseasonably <laughs> unreasonably warm winter here and I don't get to play golf in Minnesota in February ever. Knock so. on wood. That's so, that, that kind of thing stays around. Right. This, right. Is, this is exactly what we want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So it's been, it's been good. Um, it's, it's kind of funny if you're watching, uh, you know, the Phoenix open this past weekend and it was like, a 10 degree difference between here and in It was <laughs> as warm <laughs> where I am in Pennsylvania as it was in Phoenix. Yeah, I, that's wild. Yeah. Um, uh, very different conditions down at yeah. that tournament this year. But yeah. um, so we got to go over a couple things. Okay. Um, so during the PGA show, we did the demo day vlog where yeah. we were kind of out on the demo day testing new equipment. Um, we also we didn't really catch up um, Wednesday or Thursday at the show, which is more in the convention center. Um, checking out some of the new gadgets. There's more, I guess, brands and, and companies in there oh, yeah. um, showcasing their stuff. I know you guys also had some more um, sessions with you know, manufacturers. And yep. so um, do you have any more takeaways from maybe Wednesday and Thursday at the show um, or any other um, items that you may have picked up there? Well, Wednesday and Thursday, you know, we're, we're doing high level meetings mainly with, with manufacturers, just trying to glean as much information as we can about mm -hmm products and processes and and so really wasn't anything you know that's technically new and exciting yeah. right uh, most of the stuff that we're, we're talking about are things that we we see through our product training yeah. and, and we get through you know our, our second swing university so we're we're just trying to reinforce things and then any little nuggets that we can we can take from any of the manufacturers and bring back to share with the rest of the companies mm -hmm. is, is a good thing um, the show was really good and it's it's an amazing it's an amazing experience it yeah. really is uh, you just can't grasp the absolute gigantic nature of this thing. <laughs> I didn't even go into the the apparel section, oh, I know. which is like the old the, the whole second half of the the, mm -hmm. the convention center. Um, seems like simulator golf is pretty big right now, though. Yeah, uh, I would sure say is. based on the vast number of simulator companies and software companies and mat companies and screen companies and everything else that we're presenting. Yeah, and also big jacked up golf carts seem really to be, seem to be yeah. uh, quite popular hmm. uh, trail rated you know uh. I suppose <laughs> yeah yeah I'm assuming they're not for like super flat golf courses I was gonna say there's probably a certain type of golf course that these I would are, think are I would for. think but it seems like big golf carts were, were a hmm. big big thing this year interesting yeah, yeah, I, yeah you're definitely right about the simulator stuff I mean we've even seen it in here where it's like there's the you know our, our merchandise team does a great job of kind of identifying Maybe certain certain products that are just going to be very popular for you know yeah. and very effective for players, especially up here, right? Where in most winters you're not able to go outside and play golf, um, and you have a separate garage stall maybe or something. You can set yeah. something up, um, and so there's a bunch of those that you saw at the show. Well, I guess um, to that, you know, uh, we did sit in uh, for a demonstration with uh, Rap Soto, mm. and that one was interesting because if you look at a lot of these, you know. 
you can do it at a really expensive build out, right? If you have the space to do it and you want to go, yeah. you want to go full out, you can spend a lot of money on oh, a, yeah. on a simulator. Uh, the Rapsodo uh, MLM2 Pro was really reasonable at about seven hundred dollars, and gives you a lot of good function for for those dollars. So um, with that one, you really, I mean. You just kind of need a net, right? And then it's all in your it's all in your phone, I believe. Yeah, it's kind of how that all works. Yeah, uh, so it, it doesn't have to be some crazy thing, but you yeah. can have all that functionality, and that's I thought that was really cool because I mean, let's face it, golf's expensive, right? Yeah. I mean, you look at the cost of clubs, you look at the cost of greens fees. I don't know about up here, but where where I typically play down in Maryland, greens fees have gone through the roof, and it's it's makes it really difficult for a lot of people, yeah. right? I oh, mean, yeah. golf should be, really should be becoming more accessible, not less accessible. And that's that's unfortunate. But um, seeing a, a good quality unit like this, where you don't have to spend three grand, five grand, 10 grand, right. 20 grand to be able to get, you know, good data mm -hmm. uh, is, is encouraging yeah. to me. I, and then I like with that. the membership and stuff, you can, Play golf. Yeah, courses, exactly. You know, and stuff exactly. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's and that's great. That's you know, look, playing simulator golf during the winter time is not to me anything like playing correct golf yeah. out on a golf course. Yeah, uh, it's just not to that level yet, right? And I, I'll it be, might not ever be. I, yeah, I'll be amazed if they can turn short game into actual legit short game. Right. right that's right. that's my only big complaint yeah. these days is is the short game aspect, but. Um, yeah, I, I love the fact that that there's there's good quality products out there that can help people, you know, come into the game and, mm -hmm. and embrace it. And that's with with simulator stuff being the, the biggest growing segment in golf right now. That's a that's an important component. We want more people. We want to be able to have more people come and enjoy the game mm -hmm. and and then take it from indoors to outdoors, right? I mean, I don't want to play indoor golf during the middle of the summer. I want to be outside. Right. Yeah, I want to be exactly. out, you know, yep. getting tanned and, and enjoying correct. myself, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. the same way. Uh, it's It has been cool, though. I think you're, it's part of it, too, obviously, is kind of the, the boom of the game with yeah. COVID and more people are getting interested. And now, um, being that it is 2024 now, technology is available to, to make these things happen. So, um, yeah, that I mean, walking throughout the the show floor and it was just like every other way you'd look, you'd see some either new simulator um, yep. brand or maybe a, a booth of a brand from previous years that had been maybe taking an extra couple spots because it had gotten a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. I mean, it's it's amazing to me now that golf is cool because when I was when I was <laughs> growing up, man, golf was not cruel. It was not cool at all. And uh, I almost said golf was cruel. Golf is well, cruel. It, yeah, that's but it is cruel. golf was cruel to me through high school too because, because golf had, was not cool. Because golf <laughs> was not cool, and I was a bit of a geeky kid anyway. So uh, not that I'm not a geeky adult, but um, <laughs> the, yeah. uh, it, it, high school years weren't great. Let's yeah. put it that way. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it is. You're, you're right, though. There's been a sort of a, a shift in the perception of the game. Yeah, um, and it's cool. Uh, I mean, golf is cool, but also it's cool to see that having, I, I was sort of maybe on the edge of sort of, in high school, golf was, you know, not the coolest thing, but you're seeing now, even with, I have younger siblings and they're, I've seen how they perceive it as mm -hmm. well. And it's totally different. So It's always been that game where, you know, people that were competitive, right? And playing sports that your body is just not going to get along with at a certain age, right. yes. you know, football, basketball, <laughs> baseball. Hockey, yep. you know, those kinds of things. Um, it really, golf was the sport that they were going to come to eventually, mm. right? Because if you've got that competitive nature, golf allows you to have all of that. And it's just you against the golf course, and it's mind-numbingly challenging. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, uh, that's, the, the fun part is that um, it shows, well, your events like the PJ show sort of, show us all these companies that are trying to make golf easier. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we've, during the demo day, we talked about some of the, the golf clubs that we've liked so far, and mm -hmm. we've learned about some some more throughout the, the show, Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, now kind of the, the, the meat of our discussion today, I wanted to focus on a top five list from you. And that top five list is sort of 
your top five clubs that have been released so far in 2024, um, knowing that there's going to be more that come yeah. throughout the year, as yeah. there always is. Yep. Um, but, you know, at, at the show, we kind of got a good showcase on most of them that are going to be out, um, that you're going to be fitting in fitting base. So um, I'd like to kind of tee you up, if you will, for a top five list. Uh, we can start in any order that you want. But, uh, okay. you know, your, your five favorite clubs so far released I've, in 2024. I've got one from essentially each category. Perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Um, I think driver of the year is going to go to Ping. Yeah. <laughs> The 10K. It's, the 10K. It's even in Christmas. It's, it's everything you want in a driver. Yeah. It's big, right? So when you're standing up over it, you go, well, it's big. But that's confidence inspiring for, yeah. for so many people. It's super crazy forgiving. I mean, they, they, Ping just does this incredible job with, with building these super stable drivers mm -hmm. to make everybody's life a little tiny bit better, right? Um, but then it's also a low spin. Yeah. Right. I've done a lot of fitting with it already, and it's it's not one. Of, you don't have to to give up, you know, a good spin rate with this super forgiving driver, and sounds good. Like it's this thing's just just people sign up for a driver fitting. It's just like okay, what do you want? Regular stiff nine or ten and a half. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, this is your this is your G four hundred four thirty ten k. Yep. Just go hit this right, and so. That one's going to continue to be a an absolute beast. Yeah, there's I no think doubt. It, it's it's exactly what James Lee told me down at Ping. I went uh, down to uh, Ping headquarters and was able to again uh, test out the, the 10K and the Blueprint Irons. And he just said it's the best of both worlds with the G430 Max and the G430 LST. It's the best of both. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that's totally right. The yeah. only difference being really is kind of the fixed weight. Yeah. in the back. But exactly. you know, I've I've always wondered how many players are really moving that sliding weight when they get a driver because so many drivers they have those. Mm -hmm. um, but it's fixed. What 28 grams in the back? Mm -hmm. I would say a lot of provides people. Provides I'd say a lot of people are moving those that way around, right? Um, the LST version yeah. of the 430 was my number one selling driver last year, and frequently I use. I, I okay. do the weights. One of the great things about about that driver too is the ability to, I mean, if you got somebody that has a little tendency to overturn things, putting the weight in the toe. That I will mean, to me, the, I think I think weight in the toe offers more correction really than weight in the heel because you're trying to make something yeah. not happen versus trying to make something actually happen. I think it's easier in golf to try to make things not happen than it is to make things happen. So, um, yeah. Two great drivers. Yeah. Two absolutely great drivers. So I guess I mean I, I just think I think I think the four the, the, the four thirty ten K yeah. is probably going to assert dominance over the 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 L S T yeah. for me. That's what I was gonna because it kind of fits in perfectly in the lineup in a sense, because if you are if you're somebody that really wants that adjustability, yeah, the center gravity then you have the options there. Sure. With the max absolutely. LST. Yeah. Uh, but if you're just looking for a straight ball flight, low spin uh, you know, a bunch of distance, yeah. you know, your 10 case probably. And there's a lot of people out there that kind of flipped out about all the adjustability. They just want a driver that they can hit straight. Right. This is it. Like this, is this, it. this really is. It's, yeah. it's yeah. rather awesome. So, um, so yeah. Okay. The G430 Max 10K. G430 Max 10K. Max 10K. Uh, I can't say I'm surprised by that, but, um, I, I know you're not the only fitter to give some pretty <laughs> I, I high would, remarks. I wouldn't think so. So, far. so um, all right. Okay. Next cat, um, are we going fairways? We'll go fairway wood, okay, yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm pretty blown away by the performance of the new tailor made QI 10 mm -hmm. LS fairway Ooh, wood. Like the, the tour head? The tour head. It's, it's, a, it's a beast. Mm -hmm. it is, it's beautiful too. So you, you're putting it down, you know how I am with the settings. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, the new Infinity Crown just looks awesome, and the shape is, you know, it's it's fairly compact, and it's it's just a really great shape, and numbers-wise, it's it's scary good. It's 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 an absolute beast. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, I've been doing quite a bit with that one. Yeah, so I remember already. we when we tested, it was a bit, it was a big deal to have that 50 gram sliding weight. Yeah. In the Stealth Two model, yeah. the, the the Stealth Two Plus, I think, and. So they still have that adjustability with the tour, I believe. Um, so with, that didn't go away. But with better, better feel. Yeah, and they've. It seems like the feel's better, and the looks is way better too. I, they've cleaned it way up. You know, absolutely. I like that. I didn't. 
I mean, I played the original Stealth 2 Tour Fairway Wood. Or sorry, Stealth fa to, uh, Fairway Wood. Yeah, Stealth plus. Tour Fairway Plus. Plus. Yeah, there we go. Plus, yes. Uh, and that one was great. Felt fantastic. And I was all excited about the 50 gram sliding weight. Right? Yeah. I'm a fitter. You give me things to tinker with, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be excited about it. And I just didn't like the feel of it at all. Like, it just felt clunky. Mm. Uh, so, subsequently, there wasn't a whole lot of those moved last year yeah. uh, for me. This year, this one's, it's a completely different animal. It feels way better, looks way better. Performance is in just, it's what I've yeah. become, you know, I've, I've become used to seeing from TaylorMade. Yeah, so. and because with that way, you get the option, like, you can bring it into more fittings, you can put the yeah. weight back, and it becomes more and that's, stable. It that's plays almost thing. more like one of those quote-unquote high MOI models you yeah pull that weight back but then obviously yeah. if you move that weight forward um you can really knock that thing down and, and chase <laughs> yes. it out there i know the way you like to kind of have your fairy woods play yeah. so yeah um pretty good I, I, again not not a surprising one there either i know you've been um like i remember you playing the stealth plus um and saying good things about it so yeah um made qy10 tour um it's already been in a lot of bags on tour as well so yeah. um all right we're going to irons now Sure. Okay. Um, game improvement irons. There's a lot of good stuff out. There's a lot there of is. good stuff out. There is. Um, but I'm going to give the nod to the new Cleveland Zipcor okay. iron. Yep. It's big. Yeah. It's very confidence inspiring, but it's, it's a really nice shape and pretty budget friendly. Yeah, it's a it's a really good offering. Um, you know, it flies in the conv you know in the face of convention because you'd think, oh, you know, a, a TaylorMade or a Callaway or something was going to be the be the, the the deal there. But I really think this this particular iron is impressive this year. Wow, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have guessed that. I do remember being at the demo day and kind of learning about them and seeing the mm -hmm. Zipcor iron mm -hmm. and it, it kind of looks like a Shri like a, a Shrixon ZX4 call it. It uh, does. It has a little bit of that appeal. A little I mean, longer blade length, right? Yeah. It's a little bit bigger head, yeah. but man, I'll tell you what, that's a, it's a very good quality offering yeah. this year. Yeah. I think, and to I your like point it. about being budget friendly, I think a lot of golfers are seeing iron sets now, you know, for a seven piece set, you're going 1200, maybe even more, 13, 1400. And it's scary to think of yeah, you know, that's, a new set for that. So if you could trim that down, you know, under four, four digits, yeah, uh, yeah. That, that is meaningful for a lot of people. It and is. You get all the performance you need from the Zipcore XL. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed. Yeah. Very impressed. So. Interesting. Uh, I wouldn't have guessed that because there is a bunch. Of, I mean, there's. You know, the Callaway's got their AI Smokes. Yep. TaylorMade's got the your QIs. Um, Both of which are better than their previous iteration. Yeah. You and know, then Cobra's Dark Speed. I mean, there's... Also better than its previous iterations. Yeah. So there's there's <laughs> there's a lot out there. And, and I, I know I know you're saying that, you know, those are all great options, too. Yeah, that's, they are. That's how Absolutely. it always is. But, Try uh, them all. Yeah. But, but uh, interesting. Uh, kudos to K Cleveland, because yeah. they've been... Cleveland, on that family, they've been quietly making some really good stuff. And for, if their success with their... ZX irons is any um, indication uh, these are going to be really good. So. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see Cleveland back too in the in the in the iron game, and I understand yeah. that they're you know they're the more forgiving yeah. range of range of clubs in that Cleveland Strixon you know family. But um, Cleveland made really great irons for a long time. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I would I'll, I'll say my favorite iron of all time was the TA7. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I played that thing for three years, including my first year on Corn Ferry Tour. Uh, nice yeah. game improvement club. Give me some offset. Let me hit it. I love that thing. Yeah. Oh, man. I played such good golf with that thing. It was awesome. I got a buddy that's been playing the same iron set. He's probably, he's a better golfer than I am. Uh, he played in college golf. He's been playing with the same, I think it's a CG7 iron okay. tour model. Yeah. Been playing them since 2009. Hasn't given them up. And he hits the ball way better than I do. So, look, if the ball goes where you want it to, <laughs> yeah. with the distance you want it, 
Yeah. Hands, I'll, I'll keep my hands off. Right. Right. Yeah. No, right. he's he's right. a big time. Plays like a 15 yard draw with all. It. Yeah, it's perfect. So <laughs> anyway, Cleveland Irons. Um, yeah. Still there. Still uh, very much worth considering in your iron fitting this year. Definitely. So. Uh, all right. Down to players iron. Players iron. Let's players players iron. iron. I cannot get away from and stop. Can't stop tinkering with the blueprint S. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, they're so good. They just feel like butter. Yeah, I they mean, do. Oh, they do. Golly, and they're gorgeous. They just look. I think they look so good. It's, I, 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 I love how Ping strategically kind of took their time, getting back into this category. Yeah. Where you know the fully forged players' iron design because they haven't really done much of it before. Um, you know, there was the eye blade, which was several years ago. There was the original blueprint model which is like that big um, and yeah. it's been a few years and yeah. then they come out with these two models and uh i got to test those down at ping too and those are they're fantastic I mean, yep. they're gonna be they're gonna be really really big winners i think yeah they are um i've already done one set you know we don't get a lot of you know there's it's a category that we don't see that many players sure, in, yeah. right? I mean, it's most of the stuff we're going to be doing is game improvement kind of things or or players distance. So the players category is actually really really small. Yeah. So when you get a few sets of things moving, you, you feel pretty good about it, and you know that that, that thing is going to win a lot of people over. It just mm-hmm. it just feels so good. And, yeah. I mean, and that it has a different it has a a different distinct look too than most ping irons. It's got kind of a you know the shinier finish in spots, mm-hmm. and um, it sort of almost calls attention to itself, which is a little bit different than most ping irons, where they kind of their appearance. When you look at look sort of the back of the club, it's most of them are a little bit more subdued. Yeah, but it seems like the blueprint ones are kind of kind of calling your attention a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. And I also love what they've done with the lofts in that yeah. the blueprint S. Yeah. Can be easily comboed with Blueprint T and I two thirty, and so you have no issues blending those together. Yeah, um, I, I imagine you'll do plenty of those sort of blends. This, oh, for this sure. Year, I mean, you look in my bag. I've got a, I've got a, you know, Cobra stuff, but the the Forge Tech five iron. Yeah, and then CB six and seven, and then I do the MB on the way. You know, from eight through through Gap. Uh, I don't think I would even. Do the T in the the blueprints? I think the S is. Yeah. I mean, it's from a look standpoint, from everything standpoint, it's 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 awesome. It's just really good. Yeah. You know, throw a throw an I two thirty five iron in there. Yeah. I mean, you could potentially be seeing my wheels turning a little bit. I am I am drawn. You are strongly drawn mm. to these irons. Um, I I can't see myself making a switch. Yet. Yet. <laughs> yeah. But it might happen. Uh, you know me. Anything's possible. Yeah, that's true. I mean, hey, check it a couple months. We'll see what Kevin's bag is. And then we'll check a couple weeks after that, and we'll see what it is again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, Blueprint S irons, though. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, probably, sure. and that's the thing, is the T is going to be even. So you mentioned the, the category itself, the player's iron. Not a very popular category. Right. And then of the two, Blueprint S, Blueprint T, Blueprint T is going to be far less popular, yeah. I would imagine, than the Blueprint S, just yeah. given muscle back blade yeah. design. So, but uh, both both models are are exactly what Ping has sort of expressed that they will be. So. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, last one. I think I know where you're heading with this one, but I'll let you. Then maybe I don't know. I was gonna say wedges. Wedges, and, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll gonna, do wedges. I was gonna say, for sure. you know, the the iconic wedges designer himself. But yeah. Um, we actually got to chat with a little bit up at the. Uh, yes, the absolutely. Show. Yeah, so. Mr. Bob Vokey. Yep. He's a uh, oh, he's a great dude. <laughs> he's he's something else. Uh, gotta love him. Um, yeah, I we got to test a little bit mm-hmm. uh, down at the show. So the the SM10 wedges, they're they're, they're the number one wedge in golf. They're yeah. going to continue to be the number one wedge in golf. Um, they got a new nickel finish this year, which yeah, I that, think that is looks awesome. You know, we, we our rep was in the other day, and uh, and I said, you know, you, you got rid of the the one finish that didn't seem to hold up quite as well as the others. Like, it looks great, 
brand new, but then after it's clanked around in a bag a bunch, it, it starts, the, the finish yeah. wasn't, wasn't really the best. And they replaced that with this new nickel finish. And I, I said, you guys better be ready. And he's, he's, he's like, um, I'm a little bit worried because I think they did something like, what was it? 60 20 20 or something like that in terms of, of the finish of the breakdowns right yeah. and i'm like yeah you're gonna need more of that nickel <laughs> i think yeah i think it's gonna i think that finish because the, the like, traditional oh, yeah, kinda, I want that. the traditional kind of chrome tour or whatever is their most yeah. popular Satin typically yeah. right mm -hmm. um but i yeah i got a chance to look at that nickel and that's uh <laughs> that is a good looking it's one so good it basically like so it, it's a blend of the the chrome yeah, you know, satin deal and yeah. the jet black yeah. all together. And I, I love the black finish because you know anything that doesn't glare at me when I'm, right. when I'm opening up a wedge is, is preferable to something that is going to glare at me. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that nickel finish, man. Oof, that's going to be that's going to be a good one. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny. We're talking about wedges, and we're talking, you know, we're not talking about oh this grind and that grind and this right. bounce I was and that gonna, bounce. That's or, where I thought or, we were going to go. Yeah, with anything this. there yeah. is oh, it's all about the finish. Yeah, I thought we were going to go to the hey they have twenty five uh, grind. And, Grinder bounce options, yeah, um, which is and more, more than coming through Edgeworks, which yeah. is which is cool, yeah, which is more uh, than anybody else has, yeah. Um, and and you talk to, I mean, you talk to Bob Volke. We got a short chat with him at the show, yeah. But it's like how meticulous they are about, you know, designing those grinds and making sure that they're um, they're playable for each particular player that might fit into them, yeah. And then you have all the the new nickel finish, and yep. that's in addition to the the chrome and jet black, which already look awesome, so. yeah. And we got their new wedge app too, which yeah. is which is really actually very pretty darn good, mm -hmm. right? If you if you're if you're honest in your assessments of where you play, what your conditions are, you know, what you prioritize in terms of shot making and everything else, it's pretty darn spot on. Yeah, yeah. So just another tool that we get to use, mm -hmm. um, and just like with ping, ping's just constantly putting out more tools for us yeah. to use which is absolutely incredible that was my other takeaway from yeah. the pga show is just ping just innovate 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 right yep. they're just they're trying to make golfers lives easier but they're also trying to make us fitters lives easier so that we can then make the golfers lives easier uh that stuff is it, it can't be overstated how great that stuff yeah. is yeah for and us. um yeah, I mean, we've got a we've had a little bit of tutorial on the Voki wedge fitting app, mm -hmm. and then um, you know with the ping stuff too. We we got to learn about that at the show as well, yeah. and just how you know almost accurate that stuff is. And in the sense, you know, it was I think Marty Jertson was having the conversation with us with ping and and building out Corey Connors' yeah. blueprint iron set, yeah, and yeah. how. Corey just kind of detailed his trackman numbers to him, and Marty ran it in the system, and he pulled up exactly the set that Corey is playing, and this is yeah. before they did any testing with it. And yeah. now Corey's out there playing on tour with that combo set of Blueprint S and T yeah. irons. So it's just the the technology and the software that they have built is. Um, you should if you're going to get fit this year, you should talk to our fitters and maybe suggest that hey, I, I heard about this ping app or ping software. Look, I'm going to have, I'm going to keep. Or the or the Vokey wedges as well. I mean, there's. Yeah. I'm going to keep Copilot up on, yep. on a screen that I can, I can go to. Yep. Whether it's, you know, set makeup, whether it's um, strokes gained off the tee. I love, yeah, I love that's that awesome. one. That one's so cool. That's awesome. Right? You get this driver that goes, you know, eight yards further than this other one, but you're a little bit more accurate with the shorter one. Yep. Well, now you just plug those that now data in and it'll tell you, tell you which one's actually going to be better for you long term sweet yeah you know really sweet is it worth giving up eight yards is it better taking the eight yards even though you're a little bit more offline I, that's that's cool stuff man mm -hmm. yeah cool cool stuff they've uh i mean I, it's it's a big year for golf i think because you have all these great products and we're going to do some more testing on the youtube channel with everything that's been you know released early in 2024 and then obviously there's going to be more that comes out throughout the year yeah. um but there's a ton of new golf clubs out we talked a lot about the softwares and simulators and everything else and now with all this fitting technology that we've discussed here too um it there's not really there's no better time to get fit for 
new clubs than right now, just given all the resources that our fitters have and then yeah. the golfers have now too. Golf's really in a, it's really in a good spot. Uh, and throwing that, the Tigers back in, you know, playing <laughs> this week and yeah? golf's really in a good spot. Right, right. Um, what do you think of Tiger's new logo? Um, uh, it, it's it's a new logo. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm ju I'm just trying to I'm trying to adjust to a world where Nike apparel yeah. is not part of golf. Yeah. Um, I know it's not completely out yet, but it's a uh, you know I'm not I'm not one to question um, or or criticize Tiger Woods, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to state the fact that it is a new logo. I will. Yeah, I was underwhelmed. <laughs> no, I I was I was markedly underwhelmed. Yeah, it's like, you know, squiggle, 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 squiggle. Oh, look, it's a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I mean, come on, man. That's uh, yeah. Had how much time? How much time did you have to work on some killer logo? Right, the T W was a yeah. killer logo. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then we got squiggle, 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 tiger. <laughs> Come on. Oh man, that's uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. He's uh, it's it's you know it's gonna quickly become like the most iconic brand in golf because that's how it works. But, um, yeah, I, I I don't necessarily disagree with with you. No, um, you're you're right. I also I think mean, the the, the original T W logo was just so so good. Like you mentioned, it's just it was. It was perfect. It and wasn't bombastic. No, the way the it was way clean, Tiger's it was simple game was right. Yeah. Tiger himself, you know, I mean, he's got the fist pumps yeah. and and everything, but he wasn't like a bombastic kind of player. Yeah, his game was, but he himself was very, like, he was, he was not a uber focused. He wasn't right? a flamboyant. No, no, no personality or or your person even. Right. You know, he mostly just went about his business, and that's kind of what the logo yeah. sort of embodies. Yes, exactly. The old TW logo. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know what this one embodies yet. I, I don't know either. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, know either. I'm just hoping that he's he's back, his body's good. Yeah. He can go on playing a full, you know, full -ish small schedule. season yeah. of, of golf uh, and, and continue to, you know, there's nothing he can do that's going to really hurt his legacy, I don't think. Um, everybody knows he's got challenges, right? Yeah. His body's not what it right. used to be. But he's the one who moves the needle. Oh, completely. Right? The one who moves the needle. I mean, there's little there's little blips here and there. Some some people can can, you know, give give it a little bit of a heartbeat, but Tiger's like, you know, he's he's just the one. So yeah. when he's there and he competes, even if he's if he's not, you know, pushing, you know, the leaders every single week, just getting him into contention every now and then, you know, let's 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 see what the world looks like now. Because yeah. I just want him to be able to play. Yep. And I yeah. don't know. What What do you think? Is he gonna? Is he, Do you think he'll take on Champions Tour when he turns fifty? I, don't, I, don't, I feel like that's not him. But I don't. I agree. I, I don't. But I don't. I don't think know. It feels um, like him. But at the same time, you know. Um, there's tournaments to be won. Yeah, there's, there is. There's he likes there's winning. some legacy potentially there. Yeah. You look at what Bernard Longer's done. Yeah. I mean, maybe sad Tiger, to see maybe him. Tiger sees that and yeah, chases sad that. to see him out of this this Masters. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he'll he'll delay his his final Masters his, yeah till till next year. Uh, but 66 years old and just killing it out there. Yeah, hits it probably shorter than most players out there and yeah. He's got one of the most interesting bags. Oh yeah, of, of equipment. Oh yeah. So, but and he's cool. He's a cool guy. Yeah. I I, I enjoyed meeting him and, and talking to him a little bit. So, yeah. yeah, legend of the game for sure. Yeah, Both. good ping pong player too. Uh, mm, yeah. haven't uh, had the pleasure. Yeah, of playing. But so that was kind of a, a way to wrap up the podcast. A little yeah. Tiger Woods, Bernard Longer discussion. Sure, <laughs> sure. Just, uh, uh, golfers, a lot of good equipment this year. Golf clubs, simulators, um, you name it. Also, new fitting software for our fitters as well. So big go get fit. Golf carts. Um, yeah, and the jack of golf carts <laughs> and the big cannon thing at the demo day, the the cannon launcher thing. Oh yes, yeah, yes. You can't forget about that. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the demo day vlog, at, and towards the end you'll know what we're talking about. Uh, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.